The nationwide manhunt tonight finding and arresting rioters, recovering multiple firearms and a cooler containing Molotov cocktails. Among those arrested, an Olympic gold medal swimmer and news of former Navy SEAL has been questioned. ABC's Martha Raddatz tonight with late reporting. Tonight, across the nation, scores of arrests have been made in connection to the Capitol insurrection. Federal prosecutors submitting chilling new evidence. In the case against Lonnie Kaufman, now in custody, authorities seizing from Kaufman's truck multiple firearms, a crossbow, and a cooler containing particularly lethal homemade Molotov cocktails. Investigators saying Kaufman had a handwritten note of potential targets. Kaufman pleading not guilty to numerous weapons charges. And tonight, Robert Keith Hacker arrested in Newport News, Virginia. Law enforcement saying he was the rioter wearing a hoodie with the words Camp Auschwitz on it. Retired Reserve Navy SEAL Adam Newbold of Ohio has been interviewed by the FBI after saying online he wanted lawmakers to be left shaking in their shoes. ABC News obtaining a copy of this now deleted Facebook video. There was destruction breaching the Capitol. Our building, our house. Newbold now says he regrets being in the crowd. And two off-duty police officers from Virginia have been charged after posting this selfie with an obscene gesture inside the Capitol. There are additional names, many shocking. U.S. Olympic gold medalist Cleet Keller charged today. Keller, who won swimming medals in three summer games, including Athens in 2004. Keller of the United States! New York Times reporting former swimmers and coaches coming forward after spotting Keller in a video posted on Twitter from Town Hall. Keller resigned from his commercial real estate job Tuesday. And USA Swimming telling ABC News, we in no way condone the actions taken by those at the Capitol last week. And some even turning in their own family members. 18-year-old Helena Duke recognizing her mom, aunt, and uncle among the mob. Helena called her mom out on Twitter with these side-by-side -side photos. And if I did nothing, I, was, I felt that I was as bad as them. And the military very disturbed about the involvement of several veterans in the insurrection. The Army tonight giving a very stern and sober warning, saying the nation expects all members of the U.S. Army to follow the law in or out of uniform and remain examples of professionalism, character, and integrity. And, David, extraordinary that they had to be reminded. No question about that. All right, Martha Raddatz live from our nation's capital tonight. Martha, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.